Oh, hello, my friends. What we? This is interesting. We got a uh, four-stroke. It's actually a Briggs and Stratton make, which is good. And uh, the throttle cable's broken. Now, there's two ways to do this, and I'm going to just quick have a look, have a quick look, because I have somewhere around here. A thin wired uh, throttle cable. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this apart and have a look. So we're, I'm on screws th three and four here. Oh, there we go. Good. Okay, I don't need, that's all I need. Ah, well that's kind of cool. See if I can push this through. So this is just the trigger here, it's very simple. And the other end broke. So what I'm just trying to see if I can get access to the other end of this piece by shoving it through. No. You see that? Right there. No. I've got this right up maximum. But, if there's a will, there's a way. This is the piece I'm looking to replace it with for length and I thought I might use my little crimps on this so this is the one I was looking for this is not the one for the machine this is the one for the machine right here and the cables are actually backwards for me on this one but See, that goes up there, that goes down there. So I'm going to just see what I can come up with and I'll show you. I have to, I just need a little time to think. All right, I'm, I've got the new cable. I cut the other end off. I've got lots of slack. This is the other end, it's too big. And on the cable that matches up with this fella, I'm going to stick in there like that and splice them there. I don't have a lot of room, so I got to get it just right. All right, it looks a little clunky looking, but I got the new end in the uh, throttle connector. Right. Oops, sorry. There. And I got the old end that came with the original cable, and it was rotten. I only had about four inches that was any good there, and I swaged them both together. But the swage is for, or the, the little connector is for 16 to 16. So I kind of thought maybe in one slot of the little guy, we would make the two and make a 16, and then the other end would make a 16, and we could squeeze them together. One moment, please. Like that. There's a 16 gauge, and then probably two 20 gauges maybe? And I squished it together and did that. And it works pretty good. I think we'll get away with it. And I pulled on it as hard as I could with the with the big pliers and it didn't separate. So, this is the crimp. That's one end and this is the other end. I'm holding on to the thick one on the right and the thin one on the left. And I'm pulling! Should work. I am going to put a tiny bit of uh, white grease down there. I'm going to try and put this back together now without breaking anything. Huh, what do we got here now?
Oh, I see. Is that going to work? Or do we rotate it? No, that's got to work. Um, oh, okay. There we go. Jigsaw puzzle, you guys. Oh, yeah, now it's sticky. <laughs> Why? Ah, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, here we go on there like that. There isn't a lot of room left inside. I never considered that. Okay, that works. Yeah, it's too fat. Rats! I might have to cut this out a little bit. It's catching on the plastic, eh? There. Oh, well that's too bad. I might have to just cut this a little bit. There we go. I guess I'm going to get rid of that switch, the big switch tool, it's big. Not going to put it away. Yeah, it's sticking. So this is how I took it apart, right? Like this. Right 
would have to do this once or twice. Okay, I'm missing, you know, I'm not missing anything. Good, let's just zip it up. See how it works. I had it. <laughs> the guys in the factory didn't think about stuff like this, did they? Okay, this has got to sit in there tight. Well, let's just try it. We know it's we know it's going to catch. I'm being easy on these three because they're in. The plastic but the center one's into metal. Close baby. Just above. Okay so now we kind of know where we're at. I can adjust stuff now. Did you get any of that? It's pinching right here. I never thought about the shaft going through there because the, the, the connector is wider than the cable. We'll leave the top one in because both cables come out of the same hole. How can we change that to make it a little bit more Slippery dippery. I want to rotate it a half. Will that help? It might. Two other things I could do. I could, you know what, there's, this is mostly metal. I could shave it down. Or take the curve out of this curve. <laughs> it's tight. It's going to work. I just have to figure, so, oops, I'm sorry. So here we go. So there it is. You see that? It's just rubbing a little bit on the bottom. Right there. And it's kind of, and the shaft is going through there too, eh? So I'm going to think about this. I never, I, I never counted for the width of the shaft. There. We'll get it. Yes, and by the way, I went online and I could not find the connector, uh, the cable assembly for this little throttle. Uh, not available. Can't find it. Trimmer number, everything. Sears, of course. Up here in Canada, Sears is gone. And I know Lowe's won't have it. This is old. Thanks. Okay, my friends, I started this little uh, weed, weed whacker up. And 
That is how much oil is in it. <laughs> so about a quarter of a cup, approximately. What I'm going to do though, is use my fancy felt pen again. Every mark is for a different purpose. I'm going to put a, just a line right there. Pour that back into there. And then we'll get some fresh 1030, I think is what it calls for. I was online reading about these. Be right back. Okay, we're going to take the spark plug out. This is the socket I use for 5 8 I've ground down the end. I did change the oil, I hope you got that. And I just washed the uh, the little tiny foam filter in uh... Yes, I washed it in gas, don't tell anybody. Why are we whispering? There's only uh, you and I here. I'm just going to do an inspection on the plug. It's going to be pistol hot. Pliers. Something to grab that bad boy. There we go. NGK. That's good enough for me. Okay, I'm going to take it over to the bench grinder and just knock the knock the carbon off of it. <coughs> Goggles. I'll be right back. It's going to look brand new when we're done. Thank you, guys. There we are. I gapped it at 20. I guess I should just take a quick electrical reading on that to make sure it's not bleeding the ground. But it, the little unit actually runs pretty good. It does take 30 seconds to warm up, eh, Tom? So end to end, 9K, and ground to tip open. That's all I need. Okay. The oil has been changed. <clears throat> rich, a kingdom for the rich. Filter is drying in the sun. We'll take this cap, dry it off, and it's nice that there is a choke on this unit, even with the primer bulb, so that's good. So let's prime it up a little bit. Turn it on. Get rid of this. Pile up my tools now and bring it forward a little bit. Should start and go. Choke.
Okay, now I'm going to uh, put the air cleaner back in. I got lucky on that one. No parts available for this cable in here, right? Oh gosh, how am I going to do that? I haven't got my glasses on. There we go, isn't that beautiful? Hey, where's the lid? Right here. <sighs> Good. Let's see if it starts again. This guy's name's Glenn, I think he'll be happy. <laughs>